Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to FTB Revelation. That's right, folks, we are back in our uh, modded world doing all the cool modded things. Last episode, uh, we did some cool stuff. Uh, we started uh, we started working on our applied energistic system, which is right over here. Um, so we built our uh, we built our uh, our energy acceptor. We built an inscriber. We built a, a charger. What else did we do? We did some other stuff too. What uh, what was it? Um, I don't remember. Oh, we worked over here with the uh, <clears throat> with the marketplace and the and the shipping bin. Uh, it is totally the shipping bin. If you want to if you want to sell rotten flesh, you just go this way until you get to rotten flesh and you can sell it. And I've done that. And so now we've got. Uh, Got about 25 emeralds, which is cool. Um, I haven't even been downstairs to the mob farm to see about getting more rotten flesh because 25 emeralds probably going to be a good, probably going to be good enough for a while. Um, there are a couple of things I'd like to do with those emeralds, but not today. Um, I do want to go to the mining dimension real quick before we get going on our um, on our applied energistic system for this go around. I want to finish that up today. Well, not necessarily finish it, but I want to get it kind of kind of squared away so that we can. Uh, start using it but um remember a couple episodes back when we um when we updated this power you know we upgraded the power to kind of kind of make this thing run a little faster we were on chunk three of 289 that was two episodes ago this thing had been running for like six episodes so roughly two weeks off and on and it did three chunks actually four chunks because it starts at chunk zero so it did four chunks and now since then, in, in just two episodes, so less than a week, it has done six more chunks just by adding this. So that's cool. And we got a lot of stuff in here. Um, actually, I've come and cleaned a lot of it out. I've gotten a lot of these materials. I've gotten a lot of uh, uh, stuff for our applied energistic system. And I also wanted to get this. Let's go back and put this into our, um, <clears throat> into our ore processing area. Um, and, uh, and then we'll get started on doing what we're going to be doing today, which is more applied energistics. I want to, today, I want to get uh, set up so that we can actually use this thing. So let me throw, burp there, finish dinner. Um, I totally want to get this thing working. So let me show you how many, <laughs> I don't know if you remember how many we had, but let me show you just how many, um, uh, Certus Quartz crystals this thing has been able to find. Boom. Look at that. We've got so many Certus Quartz crystals, right? And so I'm going to take an entire stack of these and I'm going to burn them. Well, not burn them, but I'm going to put them into a pulverizer so we can get Certus Quartz dust because one of the things that we need today um, is going to be Certus Quartz dust so that we can make Certus glass, right? Um, because, oh, pay no attention to that Draconic Evolution stuff. I was looking at a couple of things and I'm not ready to do that yet. But we are totally going to get going on Applied Energistics. So the, the things that we need to make today, uh, one of the things is a terminal, right? So we got to be able to get into this. Uh, we got to be able to get into our ME system so that we can uh, you know, do the, the whole interaction kind of a thing. And that is just going to be a regular old ME terminal. But to make that, you got to have logic processors. You got to have formation cores. Uh, formation cores require more Certus Quartz and stuff. And... Uh, and so I want to get to that, but we also need Fluix Dust, and Fluix Dust is going to be Fluix Crystals that are ground up in Pulverizer or Grindstone or something like that. So we got to do that. Um, and so we just got, we need to make a bunch of these Fluix Crystals, and so that's why I am uh, uh, grinding that up so that we can make Certus Glass. And we also want to get some of these um, charged Certus Quartz so that we can make the, uh, the, Fluix, uh, the Fluix Crystals. Um, so we need to make terminals. We also need to make some storage drives. So storage... Uh, is it storage driver storage cell? Uh, storage cells. So just to make the uh, the basic one, which is a 1K storage cell, you need to have uh, some quartz glass. We know how to make that. We need some redstone, we need some iron, and we need a 1K storage component. And that 1K storage component is going to be some of these, right? Um, and the other thing that I was wondering about is at some point in time, we're going to need some of the uh, some of the higher tier um Quartz crystals, and that's going to be for something or other. It was uh, pure Certus. So pure Certus Quartz crystal, this thing right here. Some of the uses for that uh, so um, are going to be like upgrades. Uh, it's also going to need, oh, well, you can use it for formation cores, but you can also use it for other stuff. You need energy cells, uh, 
subscriber, you need it to make a calculation circuit. You absolutely have to have it to make a calculation circuit. The only way to get these is to use a crystal growth chamber. Uh, well, you can use a crystal growth accelerator. Basically, if you take Certus Dust and, uh, what what is it? Certus Dust. So, drop a Certus Quartz feed made of Certus Quartz dust and sand into a puddle of water, and that process is going to make this thing grow. But it takes forever. And so, to, to speed this up, we're going to do something today. We're going to make two things. Number one, the one thing that we're going to make is we're going to make an automated inscriber because the automated inscriber will allow us to do stacks of things at a time. So inscriber, uh, that's going to be this thing, right? We made one of these already, and you need you, you need two uh, in order to make this. Whoops, automated inscriber is, oh, wait, you don't need two. Huh? You only need one? You need two of those. Well, that's cool. We'll just take the one we've got and we'll just upgrade it. That's cool. But we do need a couple of um, uh, a couple of engineering processors. So that's going to be diamonds, which we have some, totally have some. Uh, so let's grab those. Uh, diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Yes, let's grab one, two, one, two of those. We're also going to need some Certus. Uh, we're going to need some silicon. Oh, silicon. Did I have any silicon left? I did not. That was something that we could get from the Certus Dust. You guys also made sure to let me know in the comments that the other place we can get Certus Dust, or not Certus Dust, but Silicon Dust from another place, uh, and that is from our Stonework Factory, which is cool. So we'll make sure to definitely do that. But let's go ahead and take uh, do 10 of those, I guess, because that will be that should be fine. We should be able to get enough Certus Glass out of the remaining... Uh, the remaining stuff that we've got here to make everything go well, to go okay for us. But we definitely need two of these. So let's get these going. And we'll uh, we'll make those two engineering presses, or so those engineering processors, excuse me, um, so that we can so that we can totally... Oh, hey, we got for that there. Cool. Uh, anyway, engineering there. Yep. And silicon there. I only needed one of those. So you can totally go back. Uh, so you and you get in there. Get some redstone. I need two of those, right? I don't have any redstone in there. Why do I not have any redstone? Let's do that. We'll do that. Come back over here and put you in there like that. So those get out. You, you go in. Get two of those. That'll get us our two engineering... engineering processors by using that and the printed silicon and the redstone and then we just need a couple of hoppers so you uh, so you you get this other one started and then we'll go make the hoppers so you 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 get some hoppers we're gonna need a couple of chests which i may have uh no chests there and no chests there that's fine got wood Make some extra chests because how many chests you're going to need, right? That. That gives me those. We're going to need some iron. Iron is not over here anymore. Iron is over here. I decided to put it all into a diamond chest. Look at all of this stuff. Holy moly. I love it. Um, give me 10. Yeah, 10. 10 will do. You, that, you, that. Boom. Two hoppers. Cool. So now those on the floor. Get those back. So now we can come over here and we can grab these two of these and uh, drill, is it? Drill. Yes, drill. That's a, that's a wand. I want that. Me, you, cool. and we should be able to go to a crafting bench and make this change. So this will give us an advanced inscriber. Enhanced inscriber. Oh, we need some more. Iron's over here. Should have just come over here in the first place. Four of you. 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 Done. Cool. So now we can put this back, and what this will do for us is now, instead, you know, the first inscriber that we had, it could not, uh, it could not do multiple stacks of things, but this, this totally can. So we can have stacks of items in there now instead of 
just single items and that'll that'll kind of speed up the process a little bit plus we can put speed upgrades in there and and that's going to be awesome now the next thing that we're going to need now this is one where we're going to need multiples of we need to be able to grow our own um certus quartz crystals pure certus quartz crystals and so to do that we're going to need a uh, a growth accelerator that's going to be this thing but these really aren't worth it if you put the certus quartz down in there and you just you have to have it water and it uses a ton of power and it's just not worth it it's actually in my opinion it's better to do it this way so we're going to go ahead and make six of those right we're going to make six of those so that we can make one crystal growth chamber and then you can do again you can do stacks of things in there and it's better to automate and all this good stuff so we're going to go ahead and do that so to make these uh, we're going to need some fluix blocks fluix blocks are made out of fluix crystals and as we learned last episode Fluix crystals are made out of charged certus quartz and redstone and regular quartz. So we're going to need, in order to make six of these, we're going to need six of these blocks. And each one of these blocks takes four regular Fluix crystals. So um, we're going to need six times four is 24, which means we need to do 12, uh, 12 of these. So let me have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There. And we need to get some redstone, and we need to get some quartz, and then we can take these out and throw them in a puddle. Uh, we're gonna need some more redstone, full, money, yeah, and we need some quartz. Uh, should have plenty of quartz, I hope. Quartz, yeah. Don't have plenty, but I have enough. Wait, I need more. Turn you off. Now we'll go outside. Drop this in a puddle. Be able to get our our fluix crystals that we need to make these the four or I'm sorry six uh, fluix blocks. So you and you and you. Awesome. Flashing around. No idea. All right. So back inside, we'll make these. Flu uh, actually, we can go ahead and make those now. Uh, six. Yeah, perfect. So we can make those now. That's cool. We got that. And then we come back inside. We're going to need another hopper. So it's a good thing that we made uh, enough chests. We're going to need some more iron. And to make this, we're going to... Yeah. We need iron. We need fluix, uh, quartz glass. We're also going to need uh, glass cables. Take a look at... Uh, first things first, let's get ourselves a stack of iron. Yes. Don't know that I need a stack of iron, but we're going to take it anyway. Uh, then we're also going to need to make the fluix glass. So the fluix glass is out of this stuff. Actually, yeah, that's right. The so fluix glass is going to be certus quartz and glass. So we should have some glass here. Got some glass here. Get some certus quartz. Uh, I got certus quartz. That's this 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 and we're going to need how many of these we're going to need so to make to make one of these we need two we need six so we need 12 all together so one two three makes 12 that stuff back so now i've got those got these and i've got these so now i just need the glass cables and glass cables I just closed that and I didn't want to. How did we make those again? That was pure, or that was fluix crystals and quartz fiber. Quartz fiber was certus quartz and glass. So let's go ahead and make that. This, this, right? That gives me a bunch of those. And so now we just need to make some more fluix crystals. With, um, I'm going to have to go outside and make those. Huh. I need a, you know what I probably need? I probably need a water pool in someplace let's get uh how many of those do we um need two All right, so we need 12 so really i just need six of these yeah let's try six get some redstone a little bit more redstone and some quartz Ooh. cutting it close on the quartz i think this make those and what I'm doing here is what we can do is later on, we can kind of automate this so that we don't have to keep coming outside and dropping these things into water. 
we can just kind of automate the making process, which will be helpful. Go like that, you go like that, and do that, and that'll totally give us what we need. Oh, redstone back. Now we should be able to make, um, be able to make our cables. And then I think we're ready to make the, uh, the accelerators, right? Pretty sure. So let me go like this. Need cables. Um, so that'd give me six. You know what? We're going to go ahead and make them all because we're going to need them anyway. Um, have everything. I have quartz glass. I have quartz glass. Ready. You, you, that gives me six. Eat. Now we're ready to make this. So we need a chest, we need one of those, and we need a hopper. Cool. Everything we need. Um, a couple of pieces of iron. No, I don't. I have it. Holy cow. Everything we need. It's amazing. So, go, oh, you, 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 that. Ha ha. Crystal growth accelerator. So now we can take this over here and we can hook this thing up to here as well. And we're just going to go ahead and put this. Uh, let's put you. Let's put you here. And I'm putting you here for a specific reason. And that is because we're still we're going to have to go ahead and put cables down here anyway, because what comes next is going to be the terminal. The terminal comes next as well as the storage drive. And once we have a storage drive and a terminal, we will totally have an operating system, right? It'll be cool. So what do we got to do to make, um, what do we got to do to make the drive, the drive going? So the drive, uh, not the drive, so storage cell. Okay. Just going to start, I guess we're going to start with the 1K because it's easiest. Uh, so in order to make the, oops, was that a 4K? That was a, yeah. So in order to make the 1K, you need uh, Certus Quartz Crystals, you need a logic processor, and the logic processor is made from gold. So let's get ourselves a piece of gold. Should have redstone. We got enough redstone, I think. Let's get some gold. That. Put that in here with a press, right? Gold. Also, whoops. Logic press, which... Logic, yes. Totally go with that. That, 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 you. Oh, hey. Silicon. Um, I didn't make enough silicon. Did I? Wait, maybe I did. Maybe I did. But I did put some stuff in. Yeah. All right, excellent. So now we can make this. Um, loving this. Loving this. I guess I still got to show you down in the basement what I've been working on because I've been doing some stuff down there that I think you guys are going to like. Um, anyway, so we need silicon press and we need... Give me one. We'll set this up to do the other seven here soon because we're going to need them, but I don't need them yet. You know what I'm saying? So you and you... Oh, get out of there. So you, you, you... That'll give me a logic processor. And then from the logic processor, we can build a, oh, that's a creative one. <laughs> we can build this, right? So that's cool. You give me that, you come out of there, you go in there and also you, those silicon ones. Cause we're, like I said, we're gonna need them eventually. Um, so can we make this now? Totally make this now. Make this, grab that, that's fine. It's all good. So, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Just you know what? Just give it all to me. Fine. If I had a crafting bench in there, that would make things a whole lot easier. You, you, oh, gives me that. You, uh, oh, we need that glass. Make remember the uh, have service court. I not have enough. Not. This should be right. Yeah. Start with that. 
God, isn't it? Enough redstone. I don't have enough redstone. Uh. Couple of those. That'll be fine. I've got plenty of redstone downstairs. I just don't feel like going down there to get it. You know what I'm saying? That. That gives me a storage drive. Yes, another one. Better than chests. Another achievement. Love it. So now this can go in here. All right. If we take this and put it in there, now we have a we have 1,024 bytes available of storage, and we can store up to 63 different types of items. Now, this is going to fill up quick, right? But that's okay. That's fine. We're going to make it work. Um, now, the other thing that we need, like I said, is a terminal. So terminal... In order to make a ME terminal, which is what you need to just basically inter interact with the system, you're going to need one of these illuminated panels, which comes from a uh, illuminated panel, which comes from quartz, glowstone, redstone, and iron. So let's get the quartz glass. Should totally be able to do quartz glass. We have two pieces. We need three. Give me some quartz glass. Oh, I need regular glass. Here. That's fine. We can do that. Get some regular glass. We'll get some glowstone. Everything else I should have. Glass. This. This. Oh, yeah, we can do that. That. Now we just need some glowstone, and I think we're good. Getting hungry. Not cool. Didn't fill up. Let's get some glowstone from here. Uh oh. Glowstone. Oh no. Oh, it's downstairs. Okay, so I guess I guess now is a good time to show you. So check this out. Bam. I've been doing some work down here. Um I've been doing some work dividing up the downstairs into the different areas that we're going to use. I haven't decided exactly which one is going to be my uh, my storage area for applied energistics, but uh, I can tell you one thing. This area right in here, this has a purpose. What purpose is it going to have? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you because it, you guys are going to want to know. It's going to be, uh, that right there is going to be for our extreme reactor. Yes, we're gonna build an extreme reactor down here. It's gonna be amazing. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. It's all gonna be good and uh, and that's cool. So there's that. So now we should be able to do this except for we need formation cores and annihilation cores. So what do we need the formation cores for? Uh, well, we're gonna need another logic processor for that. So we need one piece of gold for that. Um, we're gonna need a piece of gold for that. And then we're gonna, so we need three of these logic processors. Let's go make three more of those. But yeah, Extreme Reactor. It's going to be great. I'm going to love it. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. Trust me. Ah. All right. Um, gold over here. Three pieces of gold. Three pieces of gold. We'll put those in here. You get out. You, you get out. Logic. That's that. I'm loving this advanced inscriber because, like I said, you can put multiple items in here. And it'll do it all. So that's 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 key. Being able to stack items is key in this particular uh, arena. So I so I should say, you come out, you go in, you go in, you go in. Actually, you can probably just go all in. That we're probably going to need to make some more of these advanced inscribers. I'll probably make those off camera um, since you guys have seen me seen me do it already. I'll do that off camera so that we uh, don't waste a lot of time on camera doing stuff. And we'll kind of figure out how we want to do it. So there's those. Uh, so now we need these, right? So that is Fluix Dust. So we're going to need to make some more of these Fluix Crystals, right? Did I make, how many of those did I make? Do I have any more of those? I do not. So we're going to need to get some more charged Certus. Uh, how many of these charge? how much of that do I need? I need two pieces. So I should be able to totally do... Yeah, I should totally be able to do like one of the, one of these charged Certus quartz, and uh, and that should be enough. So get one of those. We'll get a piece of redstone and a piece of glowstone, or not glowstone, redstone and quartz. Do so that'll be fine there. I need a couple of pieces of quartz. 
the quartz. So I need one, two, because I do need a piece of quartz for either the annihilation or the uh, creation, or the, the annihilation or the formation cores. One of the two needs a piece of quartz. Go out here and we'll drop this down and make ourselves some, uh, some more Fluix crystals, which is awesome. So two, oh, and then two, and you. Yeah, it did. Okay. It. And then we'll take those in. Hi there, fairies. Uh, we'll take those inside and we'll put them into a pulverizer, and that'll give us the dust. And once we have the dust, then we should have everything that we need to make the formation and the annihilation. Ooh, get grounded up. I think that'll be it. Works for that. We got that. We'll have that here in a second. I think we have everything we need. Pretty sure we have everything you here. I do. I think I have everything I need. Get ourselves a crafting bench. Get ourselves a annihilation core. That's the form. That's the formation. Formation core. Give me an annihilation. What's the other thing we need? We need that. So we should have everything we need now. Make an ME terminal. Oh, I think we got it. I think we've got it. So you go there and, aha, look at that. So now we can totally put stuff in here, right? Uh, which is awesome. So we've got one piece of glass in there. If we come down here, we see that there are nine items in there. Or one, yeah, there are nine bytes of storage being used. And it's of one item, one item type. So, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Three items. That's three items. Why is it using nine bytes? That's kind of odd. I'm not sure what's going on there. Do you guys know what's going on there? Because I don't know. Huh. That's interesting. But we did it. We've got ourselves an ME system. We'll need to make some more drives, obviously, so I can craft some more of those up off camera. Um, I'm going to need to totally get this thing set up downstairs. So I'll have to, in between episodes, I'll tear this apart and we'll figure out which room we want to put in or put it in and, uh, and we should be set. So I'm going to go ahead and start loading this thing up with some stuff because once it's on the drive, it just kind of stays there, which is awesome. Um, but, uh, but folks, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below, and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world are you thinking, all that good stuff, and we will chat about it in kind. Also, don't forget to stop by the Discord server where we hang out and chat all the time. Uh, having a great time in there. So, once again, folks, thanks for watching, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. A very special thanks to my Patreon support staff. If you'd like to become a Patreon patron, visit my page at www.patreon.com slash rb underscore plays to find out more details.